So just how good is Evaporust? It's a very popular cleaner. Um, I've never used it before. So I bought a gallon of it. And uh, I figure a perfect test candidate is this little Albrecht chuck. German-made high-end chuck that was brand new in the box, but somehow ended up being basically submerged in water and rusting. So this is like really horrible looking. So, you know, let's see. So the instructions actually say the first thing you should do is uh, you should uh, clean the part with water and get any heavy deposits off. You can see there's just it's big chunks of oxide so I'm going to take a brush over to the sink and wash this in uh, hot water and I'll be right back. All right, so uh, actually cleaned up quite well, even with just the water. So I don't think this is going to be that much of a challenge really for the evaporust. The other good news is it actually turns freely, feels nice and smooth. So the more critical area really is going to be the uh, tapered hole in the back here. So, all right, let's give it a bath. Now the instructions say for small parts to completely submerge it and uh, soak it for 1 to 12 hours and to periodically check to see you know what kind of progress we're making. I don't think, I may be wrong, but I don't think that there's any danger in, in inadvertently leaving it in there longer than is needed. In other words, this light rust might be all set in a couple hours. But I really don't want to sit here and babysit it, so I'm probably just going to wait until tomorrow morning. It's about 6 o'clock in the evening now. So, uh, you know, roughly give it the full 12 hours and we'll check on it. And unfortunately the box is pretty much trashed. Alright, so, uh, you know, I said I was going to show how well this stuff worked and... Uh, the instruction said to uh, soak the part for 12 to 24 hours, and uh, I accidentally totally forgot about this. I kind of set it off to the side, and it's actually been like three days. But I can't imagine that anything, you know, if anything, it probably just did a much better job of cleaning it. Let's let's take a look and uh, see how this looks right here. And have... What the? Oh my goodness parts completely dissolved all right ha 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 just kidding but it is like really clean now I mean let me get the paper towel wipe this stuff off my fingers so it looks like what's happening is the black coating that was on the chuck here is coming off so maybe all kidding aside maybe I did soak this too long well either that or it just I think I've, I've heard people say that one of the drawbacks to ev evaporust is that it turns um, the oxide stains black All right, well, I'm not gonna get too fussy with it. Important thing to take away from all this is that it's uh, it's certainly not so bad that we have to throw it away, which is what I might have thought, considering how bad it looked when I initially got it. So one last look before we call this video a wrap. I would have thought all the stuff would be in the bottom and 
I'd be able to just decant this unused, I mean, this liquid and use it over again, but I don't know. All right, well, that's a wrap. Thanks for watching.